Hi, in my uh, recent videos on the uh, Lightyear Zero uh, solar powered electric car and the Aptera um, as well, I mentioned that my um, Hyundai Ionic got uh, 10 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers efficiency, and that the uh, Lightyear, it was like, you know, well, According to the data sheet, it was like a ten and a half liters, or even uh, liters, <laughs> ten and a half kilowatt hours, or even eleven kilowatt hours per hundred kilometers. And a lot of people said, "No, Dave, you're wrong." I checked uh, the info on the Hyundai Ionic, and it's like fourteen or more uh, kilowatt hours per hundred kilometers. Well, <laughs> what these people are failing to recognize is that I drive the 2020 Ionic, Hyundai Ionic. It's a totally different model to the new Ionic 5, which is a much bigger, presumably much heavier and much less efficient uh, car. Anyway, I just happened to do a uh, trip this morning and here is the accumulated results. Now, this is around the Hills District uh, here in Sydney in uh, peak hour uh, traffic, so lots of uh, stop and start. And because it's the Hills District, they don't call it that for nothing. There's lots of hills, but I did start and end at the same elevation. Um, so I started this at the uh, start of the trip and here's the accumulated info I actually got for this trip which was 14.7 kilometers and it took uh, 37 minutes uh, this was 8.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and that's a like an excellent result normally you know like just around town like uh, I'll typically average around what I said 10 maybe 11 something like that if it's a really like aggressive trip and you're driving it really hard and everything or you're doing uphills you know I might get like 13 14 something like that on a really bad trip and if I'm going up the mountains um, like like literally driving up a thousand meter tall mountain it's like 18 no 16 to 18 I think kilowatt hours uh, per hundred kilometers and then it's zero coming back down of course but um yeah there you go. Like eight, eight, eight is pretty good. Like, you know, that's starting and ending at the same elevation. But, you know, like a general uh, drive or something like that. Yeah, I get around what I claimed, around 10 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And if you ask um, any other 2020 Hyundai Ionic um, owner, they'll probably tell you a similar story. In fact, you know, I've heard similar stories on the forums and, and other owners um, as well. Of course, it depends on your circumstances. And this is in uh, normal mode as well this is it, you can tell it's blue there okay this is not in eco mode um, and of course eco mode it'll, it'll limit your acceleration and uh, it'll min limit your top speed and turns everything off and stuff like that to uh, save power I didn't have the air con on for here and a few people in the well a lot of people in the previous uh, in the previous video comments mentioned that the extra energy you got from those um, solar panels <laughs> would pretty much only um, uh, take into account the air conditioning <laughs> because if you're parking your car out in the sun solar powered car out in the hot sun if you're getting the maximum output from your solar panels then your car's getting hot you're probably going to need to use the air con to cool it down so yeah i think um i think mine uses five percent extra with the air con on on a long trip or something like that i have actually measured it once um but but there you go 8.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers but as i said yeah you know average trip might be 10 i don't know why it's eight today it did actually show a it was actually showing over 30 well, near when I started, 30 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers because I was going up large hills and doing some hard accelerations and uh, stuff like that. But it eventually, by the end of the trip, well, halfway through, it had come down to like, you know, 12 or something like that. And then it eventually, when I stopped here, it was um, 8.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers for starting and ending at the same elevation. So there you go. I hope that's uh, cleared that up. Catch you next time.